Okay, so this is going to be a short video on uh, the exponential distribution and its use in uh, modelling uh, human life expectancy. Okay, uh, so uh, if we have as our abstract probability space uh, every possible outcome of a person's life, how long they can live. Uh, so, uh, so you know, you might live. Um, we'll have it in days. Uh, oh, actually, oh, shall we have it in days? And then we'll have it in years to make it easier. So uh, you have zero years, unfortunately. You have one year. You have two year, three year, four year, and you have all the decimal points in between. We'll assume that time is continuous, uh, so you can give an exact. Uh, answer to how long you are going to live. Now, of course, these are just symbols. These are just symbols denoting a period of time. Uh, we are going to have some random variable x, uh, which is going to map them onto their corresponding real number, uh, corresponding positive real number. Uh, so actually, zero isn't in there. Uh, you can't live zero, zero time at all. Um, if you ever lived at all, uh, then you will have so you will have lived for a tiny period of time. By definition, if you lived, then you had to live more than zero, uh, zero, uh, whatever, zero years. Um, okay, but of course you could have any decimal, 0 0.5 is an option, etc. Uh, so 1 is going to be mapped onto 1, 2 is going to be mapped onto 2. And remember the reason that I'm stressing this is this is an algebraic structure. This is a symbolic structure used to denote time. Yes, of course, time is beautifully isomorphic with the algebra of the real numbers. Of course, you know, you can add times and you can multiply times and all of that. Uh, but that's a different, that's not... That's a different topic, that, that the structure of reality is isomorphic in that way to the algebra of the real numbers. Here we are just using these symbols to denote lengths of time, and now I am mapping them onto an algebraic structure on which I'm going to um, uh, you know, do probability. Okay, uh, so, uh, and we're going to say that x is exponentially distributed. Uh, with some parameter lambda. We're going to suppose that x is exponentially distributed with some parameter lambda. And this is off to the way, uh, it's an elementary way. I don't, I'm sure that this isn't, well, I don't know. Uh, but this is a way that often you will see uh, this random variable as being, uh, being modelled. Uh, I'm going to show you why it breaks down, why it cannot possibly uh, actually be... Uh, th this isn't perfectly distributed exponentially, it's distributed in whatever way it actually is distributed. Uh, but um, a good approximation to how it's distributed is the exponential distribution, uh, which is why uh, the, uh, the uh, function, the probability that x is greater than or equal to some little x, or we, or we could say some little t for time, is called the survival function. So re recall that uh, if you're exponentially distributed, your CDF, big F of little x, is equal to 1 minus e to the negative lambda of x. And uh, therefore, the probability that, you're, that you live uh, longer than, uh, greater than or equal to little t is equal to 1 minus the probability that you don't live longer than little t, uh, which is f of little t, which is 1 minus 1 minus e to the negative lambda of t. Uh, so this is e to the negative lambda of t. And that is why this is often called the survival function, because this is the probability that you will survive, that any one person will survive. Well, it's what we're going to use to model the probability that any one person will survive uh, longer than t years. So um, just to um, say, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that it is distributed in this way. So I don't have to keep saying, oh, this is, if we choose to model it in this way, uh, that would be what it is. So let's assume it is perfectly distributed. And what I'm going to show you is that it, it, can't, it can't be distributed like this. Okay, uh, so if we assume this is correct, then the survival function, the chance that you live uh, greater than or equal to that, uh, your, that you will live for greater than or equal to t years is e to the negative lambda of t. So if we plot a function of this, it looks something along the lines of uh, this. So it gets gradually smaller and smaller as you go up uh, 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 go up the years, basically. Uh, the problem is that the memoryless property holds. Uh, the memoryless property of the exponential distribution says that the probability that x is greater than or equal to s plus t, given that x is greater than or equal to s, is actually equal to the probability that x is greater than or equal to t. So let's analyse what this means in terms of this problem. So on to the next side. Uh, so basically, this is saying that if we have the positive real numbers here, so here's 0, and it goes on, and uh, you have lived for some s years, so let's say s is equal to 90. So you have lived for 90 years, you are 90 years old, and you would like to know what is the probability that my life, 
uh, that I will live greater than or equal to s plus, let's say, t years. So let's say t is equal to 10. So what's the probability that I will live greater than 100 years given that I am 90 years, which is s? Uh, well, uh, this the memoryless property of the exponential distribution says that this is the same as the probability that you will live um, 10 years, so t years, which is 10, uh, given that you are at the moment 0. So basically, it is telling you that if you are 0, then the probability uh, that you will live... Uh, basically, it's telling you that if you've just been born, the probability that, you're, uh, that you will live greater than or equal to 10 years is the same as the probability that a 90-year-old will live for ten uh, for another ten for greater than or equal to another ten years, uh, which empirically is not true. If you are ninety, your probability of lasting longer than another ten years is not the same as the probability that uh, if you've just been born, you are going to live for the greater than or equal to another ten years. So empirically, uh, this uh, model uh, for uh, the human human life expectancy and lifetime uh, cannot possibly be right, and the reason is that uh, this memoryless property is just empirically not true.